Stu here. Uh, how's my hair look? The last video I did was the leak down test on this 54 stroke. Uh, the results kind of work good. Um, I'm not keen to give up on it yet. I don't know how much I trust the results I got from that leak down test. Maybe I'm just not wanting to believe what it's telling me. Um, but anyway, look, I tend to do more compression tests than leak down tests. So um, it's uh, a simple test, I guess, and one maybe I trust that, it, that uh, compression tester more because I've, I've used it more. Um, so I'm going to do that quickly and just see what results we get on that. If that turns out to be bad as well, then I think I'll just do a separate video on pulling the head off it and just having a look um, if we can see any damage on the walls of the cylinder, see whether it's kind of cylinder wear or maybe just uh, ring wear. So it'll give us an idea of what costs we're up against really to fix this. Um, not much more to say about it really. I think we'll just get into it and see what, uh, what results we get from that compression test. So I'm always a little bit torn um, whether to make these sort of instructional videos or more like a video blog, just sort of sharing an interest with like-minded people. Um, but uh, I'll try and go through the basics of what we do each time. So there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do a compression test, but really um, what you've got is a compression tester, pretty simple device. Uh, just has a, a little one-way Schrader valve in there. So as the engine turns over, um, the cylinder uh, or the piston compresses air in the cylinder uh, pushes it out through the uh, spark plug hole which is where this uh, tester gets uh, inserted um, and the gauge reads what sort of pressure we're getting once again as it's compressing if it's leaking back out past the rings whatever you don't get a high reading here this uh, tester's just got an adapter on it if you've got various testers um, these spark plugs are a slightly smaller diameter than than my, many other spark plugs so this has just got an adapter on it for this outboard uh, then you've just got a little pressure release. So once you've done a test, just make sure you hit that so you don't get a, a high reading on a particular uh, cylinder. Drop down to a cylinder that's uh, maybe not so good. Uh, and then you're still reading the reading from the cylinder before because it was higher. If you don't reset it, you'll only see readings that are higher than the previous one. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wind this in. And we'll have a look what we get. Uh, expected ranges, I'll have a look at the uh, service manual in a second, I should have looked at that first, but you know, um, 100, 120 I think sort of healthy, so we're getting this way, we're going to have a few, a few moving parts this time, so I'll just pop this down here, uh, it's definitely reset back to zero, and it's pretty tight against the o-ring, so I'm just going to put some power to the starter motor and turn this over a little bit. Oh, uh, other things really important is that uh, come around here and just put the throttle into the open position. This is a test once again that kind of should uh, ideally be done with the motor at operating temperature, but more important the throttle is uh, in the wider position, chokes open. So no choke um, and no throttle. Ah, sorry. So no choke, uh, so choke open, throttle wide open. So this is sort of showing 80, 90, 85. Don't think this is too healthy. Maybe we will get the fun of pulling it apart after all. So reset it. That's healthier. So cylinder 2 is giving me 125. I might crank cylinder 1 over a few more times next time. Uh, reset it. Fifty. 
So I do recall Cylinder 3 being the healthiest one on the leak down test as well. Cylinder 4 is uh, over 150 as well. So as you can see, it's a pretty good reading for that one. And I'll just reset it. Uh, I'm just going to try one again. And uh, just crank it a little bit longer. You kind of need, I guess, about 10 full revolutions really to get a good reading. So cylinder one's barely making a hundred, even if I crank it quite a while. So before I forget to mention it, I checked the service manual and the minimum compression uh, that Yamaha specify is 120 psi. So we've got uh, yeah one under, one just on minimum, two over. So uh, at least know we stand now. So I think something's going on definitely with cylinder one. It's not healthy. Uh, look could be a valve problem. I mean the leak down test to me it seemed to a lot more noise coming um, coming through the uh, down into the crankcase or the sump. Um, that's why I thought it was more rings but um, I'm kind of willing to consider that maybe it's just a, a dodgy valve. Uh, if it was an exhaust valve, the exhaust port and the and the crankcase are quite close on the bottom of the output so it's not that obvious. It's not, not like sort of on a car where you one end you go right to the tailpipe to listen and the other end just sort of listening in your, your oil filler or whatever so it is possible that was what was going on so I think it's clearly not healthy and it clearly needs some work so uh, next video um, I won't do it now, I don't really quite have the time but uh, I think we'll um, uh, take the valve cover off, have a look at the valve, see how well they're seating uh, I was having a quick look through the oil filler and it looks pretty manky in there maybe it needs a clean up and then we'll take the whole head off and have a look at the condition of the cylinders later as well so uh thanks for watching uh this i guess is just a bit of a follow-up to the previous video on the leak down test to um preempt perhaps what a few people might be saying just to, to sort of confirm those figures um i certainly have a bit more faith in these figures now so i think cylinder one's problematic for sure um so yeah so thanks for watching um i hope you enjoyed a uh, short video this one um, but please subscribe if you'd like to see more and sort of uh, hopefully follow us on the journey when we figure out what's wrong with this outboard. All right, take care. See ya.